Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this newest video tutorial series for hipstercode.com. And this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at Greensock, the JavaScript library built for animations. Animations in JavaScript are something that are going to become more and more popular as we start to see older browsers being sunsetted. You can see the animations being done with Greensock here is actually quite a bit more detailed than what you can normally do with something like jQuery by itself. So Greensock has become the emerging animation library for JavaScript. In order to get started using this tutorial, what we need to do is have a text editor so that we can go ahead and start writing code. And we need something to help us write the code. So I'm going to be using Atom, which is a completely free open source text editor. It's not a full-blown integrated development environment. It shouldn't, get, it shouldn't get in our way as we start writing code. So I've followed through with the tutorial um, or with the install of the Atom editor. So what I'm going to do is say open folder and I want to point to the folder where um, I'm going to put all the files for the tutorial series and I actually have them in my projects directory inside hipster code and then I have this green sock folder since we're learning about the green sock library. Once I select open you're going to see on the left hand side uh, that green sock the, the folder is there. So now we can start adding new folders and new files and we're going to add a new folder called JS for our JavaScript file and then we also need to add a new file called index.html and let's go ahead and create our, in, our uh, index page here. So every every HTML page should have the HTML head and then we're going to have our body tag And then we'll close off the, um, the HTML tag. So now what I want to do is download jQuery and put it in this folder. So if you go to jQuery.com then you can just click on download the compressed production version and that's all we're going to need. And you're going to want to take the downloaded file and put it in our JS folder that we just created. So if I go over to my downloads over here, I should be able to find the jQuery folder. Here it is. So I'm just going to cut that. And I'll put it inside my JS folder of our new project. And I just want to rename this and just call it jQuery. I don't need to know that it's you know 1.2 or 1.2 or whatever it doesn't matter. So now you can see that the jQuery folder or the file is being found in the folder and we want to go ahead and include that jQuery file at the top. So inside of our head tag let's create a script tag and the script tag is going to have a source where it's going to point to the jQuery file so we'll say js jQuery.js and then close off the script tag and now inside the the body let's go ahead and just put a script tag down here and we're gonna run some code that uses the jQuery library so we'll say document dot dot ready function and then just uh, hello world or hello green sock so this document.ready is actual jQuery code. What it does is it says execute after the entire page is loaded. So if we pull up our file where our um, green sock folder and index page that we just created are located and we just double click on index, your computer should know to open up the HTML file in a browser and you can see that the hello green sock was executed and it was done so after jQuery loaded and everything. So, so that's good. That's what we want. Now we need to go back over to our Greensock library and we're going to say download GSAP. And you can actually download it, uh, the zip file or you can point to the, um, the CDN here, which is Content Distribution Network. And, um, and for this case, let's just go ahead and point to an external file. That's not going to hurt anything. And this should be using the latest and greatest with Greensock. Make sure you put it after the jQuery file up here so, so that way jQuery loads first and then Greensock loads 
So what we need to do in our HTML page now, in order to actually test a uh, animation using the Greenstock library, we need to go ahead and have an image. So I'm just going to go to the website here, hipstercode.com, and use this big main image, which is uh, really large, but uh, it's, it's not going to hurt anything for this uh, demonstration purposes. But I want to uh, locate the image here. So here's the image. And I can copy the link address for that image. And then inside my body tag, we're just going to say uh, in a header, green sock tutorial. And then in an image, uh, so a source, I can go ahead and paste the location to the file. And because I don't want it to be too big, I'm just going to make it, uh, we'll say ID. Let's give it ID. So we'll say test image and then um, a width. We'll say 300 pixels and then height equals uh, 200. And really, we don't need to do the pixel. I'm sorry. Just say 300 and 200. So now if we uh, refresh this, you can see we're still doing the alert statement. We probably need to get rid of that. But here's the image. So now it's nice and uh, nice and small. And what we want to do is we actually want to move the image. So how do we move the image using an animation um, using green socks? So let's go ahead and get rid of this whole script down here. And what we want to do is uh, actually don't get rid of all of it. Just get rid of the alert statement. And inside the document.ready, because we want to make sure that everything is loaded, including the Greensock library, before we try to use it. And let's go ahead and use something called tween light, and then we'll say dot two. And then this is a function, so we're passing in arguments to the um, you know to this tween light dot two function. And the first thing we need to do is we need to actually give it an element. So and there's multiple ways of grabbing an element in JavaScript, but jQuery makes it so much easier to grab an element because it works the same way in all browsers. Grabbing elements doesn't work the same way naturally in JavaScript, so jQuery just makes it easier for us, so we're just going to use jQuery here to reference the test image that I just brought in. And uh, that's going to be the first argument. So this whole thing is called a jQuery selector. And the, uh, the pound sign signifies ID. So we're saying find this element. So it's going to return this entire image. That's what all this part does right here. And hopefully you guys can see. So that, that's the first argument to this method. So... In order to understand how to use all the different features of the Greensock API, we should go to the Greensock document and you can see tweenlight.2, this function that we're using, it has the first is the target and that's why we use the jQuery selector which is going to be the object, which is an element, and then duration is going to be an integer, a number, and then the last one is going to be an actual JavaScript object that we, get, that we pass in. So you can see duration is a number in seconds or frames, um, you know, so basically, uh, it's the delay, um, or not the delay, I'm sorry, it's just the number of seconds that the animation runs. So anyway, let's go ahead and, and run this here. So we're just going to say 2, and then here, this is where we pass in the jQuery, ob or not jQuery, but the JavaScript object. So the X, everything in any, any sort of animation, you have X and Y. So Y starts, at, you know, top to bottom is the Y axis, and the X is left to right axis. So if we said... Uh, X and we move it over like a hundred it's going to take the image and it's going to move it over quite a bit so it's going to be a hundred pixels from where it's at moved over to the right hand side because it's going to move from left to right so now let's go ahead and if I refresh the page you can see that the image is now moving over to the right hand side so that's pretty awesome so all right, guys, so that is the first video of this series and getting started with the Greensock library to do animations in JavaScript. And once again, um, it's a really cool project. Hopefully you guys can subscribe to this channel. Please vote it up. Please share it if you would. Uh, please check out the hipstercode.com website in order to get more tutorials on anything in programming videos similar to this and also a ton of different stuff from python to to ruby to whatever anyway guys thanks for watching have a good day and bye